Hi, my name is Victoria with LiveWell at UC Davis Campus Recreation. Welcome to my gentle yoga class. Right now I'm at home in my living room. I have my yoga mat set up behind me. So I recommend you find a comfortable spot in your house. Uh, if you have a yoga mat, the carpet works well. If you don't, I would recommend using wood floor or tile because it's easier to grip with your hands and feet. And you can get a blanket or a towel to put under your knees so that way it's more comfortable for you. Um, yoga is not meant to be painful, so if any poses or any movements that we do during our practice hurt for you, um, I recommend that you follow modifications or you can leave a comment asking for modifications and I'll do my best to go look through them. Um, yeah, and also just feel free to go into a child's pose at any time during the practice. So, because everything has been changing very fastly uh, in our communities, I want to do a heart opening class today. So we'll open up our chest during our practice, really get the air flowing through our hearts. And we can also use it as a metaphor to open up our hearts to these changing times and also embrace new opportunities. I also don't have music for this class, but feel free to put your own music um, when, uh, while you're practicing at home. So we'll go ahead and get started. Go ahead and make your way into a child's pose, resting your chest on your thighs, pressing your hands into the mat or floor in front of you, and rest your forehead down. And take a few deep breaths here. In through your nose and out through your mouth. And I'll go through most of the poses during the practice, but I also might sit up because it's easier for you to hear my voice through the microphone that way. And just keep taking a few breaths here in through your nose and then out through your mouth. Inhale, lift your chest, exhale, walk your hands over to the right side, rooting into your left sit bone. Lift your chest, exhale, walk over to the left side. And then come onto your hands and knees in a neutral tabletop. Inhale, drop your belly, open up your chest for a cow. And exhale, arc your back like a C for a cat. Inhale for cow. And exhale for cat. Again, inhale for cow. And exhale for cat. And then at your own pace, in your own breath, move between your cows and your cat. You can even move your hips from side to side, or you can make a body roll by lifting your spine around and lowering it to the ground. Do any movements just to get your spine moving for a practice. And when you're 
mind starts to wander, you can always come back to your breath, working on your inhales and your exhales. And then come back to your neutral tabletop. Inhale, extend your right arm forward. Exhale, draw your left leg back. And take a few breaths here. Really lift from your core to help you balance. Take one more breath in through your nose and let a longer exhale go out your mouth. Placing your hand and knee back down. You can move your hips from side to side. And then return to a neutral tabletop. If your wrists start to hurt during the practice, you can always come onto your forearm or you can make a fist with your hand. Make sure your thumb is on the outside of your fingers. And then use your knuckles as a support, but make sure to keep a slight bend in your elbow so you're not locking your arms out. So I'll do this one with the modified hand position. Inhale, extend your left hand up and exhale, oh, excuse me. Inhale, extend your right hand up and exhale, draw your left foot back, breathing into your core, Using that strength to help keep you lifted up. And then bring your hand and knee back down and make your way into a hero's pose, sitting back on your heels. If you have a blanket and your knees are hurting, you can place it between your legs behind you. Inhale, open your chest forward, drawing your shoulders up and back. And then exhale, circle to the right, back, left, and forward again. And keep moving through your circles. Focusing on lengthening each inhale and exhale. And then make your way in the other direction. Really noticing your spine as you move around your circle. And do one more circle. And then come back into your hero's pose. Inhale, reach your hands up towards the ceiling. Exhale, down towards heart center. Again, inhale, reach them up. And exhale through heart center. One more time. Inhale, reach them up. And exhale, hands down through heart center. And then take a moment to either close your eyes or find a soft gaze and place your hands on your heart. See if you can notice your heart beating. And see if you can slow your heartbeat by extending your inhales and exhales. And 
keep breathing into your heart, filling it with love and peace in these times of uncertainty. And exhale, release all the tension. Take one more inhale through your nose and a longer exhale out your mouth. And then gently flutter your eyes open. Reach your hands towards the ceiling and exhale, lean over to the right, grabbing a hold of your left wrist. And then inhale, center, and exhale over to the other side, rooting into your right hip bone for a deeper stretch on the right side. And then inhale, center, and exhale, place your hands down into a neutral tabletop. Tuck your toes under, lift your knees up, and push back into a downward dog. Spread your fingers and your toes. Press into the base of your index finger so that you're keeping the weight out of your wrist. And again, if your wrist hurts, you can always come down to your forearms. Bend alternating knees to walk your dog out and take a few breaths here. And keep breathing into your heart space, really opening up your chest. On your next inhale, come into a low plank or a high one with your knees off the ground. Either way, you want to make sure that your shoulder is above your wrist. And while exhale, drawing our shoulders over our fingers, lowering through chaturanga with a 90 degree angle. And then lift your hands a few inches off the ground. Inhale for a low cobra, exhale, lower down. Inhale, press into the tops of your feet, exhale, lower down. Inhale, tuck your chin under for a long extension through your neck. And exhale, lower down. And do four to six more low cobras. And you can rest your forehead on your hands in front of you when you're done. And take a few breaths here in your low cobra, really breathing into your heart. And when you're done resting your forehead down, keep breathing in through your heart, filling it with peace and love, and exhaling all the worries out of your body and mind. This practice is for you. So make sure that you're coming with a calm mind and a calm body. And take a few more breaths here.
gently place your hands by your shoulders. Press into the ground as you lift into a full cobra. And then tuck your toes under for downward dog. Step to the top of the mat or to your hands in a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Have your head facing forward with your chin tucked down for a long extension on your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bend your knees, reach your hands all the way towards the sky. And exhale, hands down to heart center. Inhale, reach your hands up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale into your plank. And then exhale, lowering through chaturanga. Inhale to cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, reach your hands all the way up. Exhale, through heart center. Inhale, reach your hands up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale to your plank. And then exhale, lowering through chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Step or hop to the top of your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach your hands all the way up. And exhale, hands down through heart center. Inhale, reach your hands up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, downward dog. And this time, inhale, extending your right leg back. And exhale, turn your hips towards the ceiling. So you can see my knee. It's facing towards the ceiling in this three-legged downward dog. Take a few breaths here. And then exhale, step your foot to the top of the mat in a high crescent lunge. You can have your arms resting here, or you can bring them back into cactus arms. That way they're framing your face, and you can really open up your chest by moving your shoulders back. And then inhale, step your foot down flat with a 45 degree angle for a warrior one. Internally rotate your left hip forward. Bend your right leg. Reach your hands up and exhale, relax your shoulders here. You can have your fingers extended towards the ceiling or again, bring your arms into cactus pose. And take a few breaths here. And when your mind starts to wander during the practice, you can always come back to your breath, working on extending each inhale and exhale. And then on your next inhale, step your left foot back into warrior two, bringing your arms out in a T. 
Check to see that your feet are in heel to arch or heel to heel alignment. Gently gaze out over your right finger and take a few breaths here. Take one more inhale through your nose and exhale out your mouth. And then straighten your right leg and reach down for a triangle. You can see your right foot is facing forward and your left is perpendicular. If you have a block at home, you can always use your block to lean on or you can get a stack of textbooks as well to help you lean. This can help lift you up and out of your stretch. You can always place your hands higher on your leg if that's more comfortable for you as well. And then inhale, come back up through warrior two. And exhale, step your feet together into dasana or mountain pose. Shake your arms and your legs out. And then rest all of your weight onto your right foot, coming onto your left tiptoes. Imagine a stream from your heel all the way through the crown of your head, lifting you up to help keep you balanced for our tree pose. Inhale, begin to reach your right foot off the ground. And exhale, turn your knee out to the side. Grow your branches tall. And exhale, relax them here or bring them into cactus arms to open up your chest. And take a few moments to find your balance. Remembering all those wobbles and shakes are your body working hard to balance you. And then just as intentionally as we got into the pose, We'll draw our knee forward and gently place it back down on the ground. And give your arms and your legs another shake out. You can even roll your neck and your head from side to side. And roll your shoulders up and back and then the other direction. And then come back into your mountain pose. This time, placing all of your weight onto your left foot. Come on to the ball of your right foot. Imagine that strength really lifting you up tall, keeping your spine extended to help you balance. Inhale, draw your foot off the ground, either to your ankle, your calf, or above your knee. And exhale, turn it to the side. Grow your branches tall and leave them here or bring them into cactus pose. Find a drishti or a focus point to help keep you balanced. And remember that you're stronger than you think you are.
One more inhale through your nose. And let a longer exhale go out your mouth. And then draw your knees forward and place it back down on the ground. Reach your hands up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, downward dog. And from here, move through your chaturanga or simply go right into child's pose. And if you would like a variation, you can do a wide knee child's pose with your toes touching and your knees apart, resting the back of your hand next to your leg. And take a few deep breaths here in your child's pose, breathing into your heart and exhaling all the stress out of your body. Take one more inhale through your nose and let a longer exhale out your mouth. And gently make your way back into a downward dog. Inhale, lift your left foot up this time and exhale, draw your knee towards the ceiling. Keep your left shoulder down for a deeper hip opener. Inhale, extend your foot back, and exhale, place it between your hands, rising into a high crescent lunge. Bend your back knee so that you're getting a full extension on your back. And you can always step your back foot closer, that way it's a little easier for you to balance in this pose. Inhale, reach your hands up. And exhale, relax your shoulders here or bring them into cactus arms. And take a few moments here just to notice the balance and strength in your body as you're doing this pose. And then inhale, step your right foot back into warrior two, reaching your arms out like a T, imagining you could reach across the room and energetically touch both walls. Gently gaze over your left fingers. And just as you stand strong and tall in this warrior pose, think about where in your life you can be strong as well. And then on your next inhale, straighten your left leg and exhale, bring your arm down into triangle pose. Again, you can always bring 
your arms back up so that way it's easier for you to open up your chest instead of hunching down we want our shoulders to lift up and out that way we can really expand our chest and breathe into our heart in this stretch And then inhale back up through warrior two and exhale step into tadasana with your feet together now walk them wider than hip distance you can even point your feet out away from your body and lower down into a high squat or a low squat for malasana for this one if you have a block at home you can also use that to sit on to make this more comfortable. You can place your hands together at heart center, opening up your chest. Take a few moments to breathe right here. Just remembering that there's nowhere you need to be and nothing you need to do, except be here in the present moment. And right now at home, I can hear the birds chirping outside. So see if you can notice any noises outside of the house. And without judgment, just acknowledge them and just notice what you hear. Take one more breath here. And then place your hands behind you and come into a butterfly pose. Extend your spine tall and then exhale as you lower down to your edge. It's not important how far you lean down. What's more important is that you're keeping your natural lumbar curve instead of rounding too far back because we don't want to compromise or hurt our spine. inhale rise back up keep your right leg in and extend your left leg out leaning over reaching your other arm up above head and you can gently gaze toward the ceiling or towards the ground keep your right shoulder lifted up and out so you get a deeper stretch and a deeper heart opening for this position inhale lift up and exhale switch sides extending your right leg out lifting up and over and keep your left sit bone rooted that way you get a deeper stretch on your left side
Inhale, rise back up. And exhale, make your way into a neutral tabletop again. Extend your right arm up towards the ceiling. And exhale, sweep it between your other arm. Inhale, extend it back up. And exhale, sweep under. Inhale, extend, really reaching all the way towards the ceiling. And then exhale, lower it into thread the needle. Resting the side of your face down wherever is comfortable. And then inhale, gently lift your arm back up, and exhale, place it down. Inhale, extend your left hand up, reaching all the way towards the ceiling. Exhale, sweep under your arm. Inhale to extend. Exhale to sweep. Inhale for your last extension, really reaching as high as you can go. And exhale, lower into thread the needle on the left side. You can let your right arm relax anywhere that's comfortable for you. And when your mind starts to wander, take a breath and come back to the present moment. And then inhale, drawing your hand back towards the ceiling. Exhale, into your tabletop. Tuck your toes under and push back into a downward dog. Inhale to extend your right leg back. Exhale, draw your right knee towards your left elbow. And then place your shin down. Drawing your left leg back. Open up your chest. And exhale as you lower to your hands your forearms, or even resting your forehead down. Take a few breaths here in your pigeon pose. And if this hurts for your knees, you can always place your right leg in front of your left thigh, hooking your hands and clasping them behind your other leg. And then gently place your hands back down and make your way to a downward dog again. Extend your left leg back and bring it towards your right elbow, placing it on the ground and extending your right leg back. Open up your chest and exhale as you lean forward, resting on your hands, your forearms, or again, resting your forehead down. You can always go into the reclined figure four if that is more comfortable for you. 
In this pose, as we're leaning forward, imagine all of the stress, the worries, the fears, washing out of your body and to the floor. You can imagine a river flowing through and washing all of these unwanted thoughts out and away from you. And then inhale, gently lift back up. And exhale, bring the right leg around. Place both feet flat on the mat. Inhale for a seated cow. Exhale for a seated cat. Inhale as you extend. And exhale as you round. Inhale, extending one last time. And exhale, round your back as you lower down, vertebrae by vertebrae. We'll go into some bridges here. If your knees hurt, you can always step your feet away from your bottom or further out to the side. If not, Place the tips of your fingers so that they gently touch your heels, placing your feet hip distance apart. Inhale, press into your feet as you lift your hips up for bridge. And exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up, really lifting out. And exhale, lower down. And this last one will hold for a few breaths. Inhale, push up, reaching your hips high. You can even tuck your shoulders under and clasp your hands underneath you. Reach, reach, reach. And take a breath here. Remembering that you're stronger than you think you are. One more inhale through our nose. And then exhale out your mouth as you slowly lower down. Hug your knees into your chest and rock from side to side, giving your sacrum a nice massage. Then extend your legs up and bring your pointer and your middle finger together, hook around your big toe and let your legs fall to the side and happy baby. Then hug your knees into your chest and exhale them over to the right side, placing your arms like a T, palms up, gently gazing at the ceiling or towards your left hand. And inhale, a sense of calm into your heart. And with each exhale, imagine releasing all the stress from your body. Inhale, your knees forward, and exhale them over to the left side. You can hook under your top leg and pull it closer to the ground if you want a deeper stretch. And again, you can gaze at the ceiling or over towards your right hand. 
You can even gently close your eyes if you would like. And then inhale your knees to your heart. Give them one last hug. And do any last movements before we go into our final resting pose, Savasana. For Savasana, I'll show you how to go into corpse pose. And then I'll be sitting up so that I can give you more instruction. Extend your legs out. Let your feet fall to the side. Place your arms away from your center, palms facing up. Find a soft gaze on the ceiling or gently close your eyes. And just take a few breaths here. Noticing any sounds that you hear. Notice the ground below your body. Notice any smells. And without judgment, notice any thoughts that run through your mind. Accept them and then let them go. Relax your toes. Relax your ankles. Relax your shins and your calves. Relax your knees. Relax your thighs. Relax your hips. Relax your belly. Relax your heart. Relax your shoulders. Relax your upper arms. Relax your elbows. Relax your forearms. Relax your wrists. Relax the palm of your hand. Relax your fingers. Relax your neck. Relax your jaw. Relax your upper lip. Relax your cheeks. Relax your temples. Relax the space between your eyebrows. Relax your forehead. Relax the crown of your head. And finally, relax your whole body 
for the rest of Savasana. Take one more breath in through your nose and let a longer exhale out your mouth. And then begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Make small movements with your hands and your feet. And even move your neck from side to side. Or do a nice morning stretch, reaching your arms overhead. And then roll over onto your right side in a fetal position. You can make a pillow with your arms. And take a few breaths here. Absorbing all of your practice. And then when you're ready, make your way into a comfortable seated position. You can do an easy pose with your feet crossed. Roll your shoulders up and back and place your hands gently on your knees, palms up or palms down. Softly close your eyes and just take a few breaths. Then we'll do some pranayama or breathing exercises. If this is uncomfortable, you can always choose to go back to your normal breathing. We'll keep our mouth closed and inhale for four counts through our nose, holding for two and then exhaling for four. We'll lead us in the first couple of rounds. Inhale, one, two, three, four, Hold, one, two, exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold, one, 
two, exhale, one, two, three, four, inhale, one, two, three, four, hold, one, two, exhale, one, two, three, four. And now continue at your own pace. And then return to your normal breathing pattern. And letting it come naturally without trying to control it. And place your hands over your heart. And silently thank yourself for this practice, for this time to take care of yourself. You can silently say, I love you. You are safe and you are okay right here, right now. Remember to take care of yourself. Do what you need to do. And whenever you're feeling stressed or anxious, you can always come back to your breath, remembering that you are important. We'll end the class with a big inhale through our nose and exhale through our mouth together. Inhale and exhale. Thank you. I hope that you all have um, a good day. Be healthy, wash your hands, and yeah, thank you.